How's it going everybody? So I have a special project for you today because this video is specifically for Father's Day. I have on my left here a bunch of hickory and on my right a bunch of cheap grilling utensils. I bought a bunch of cheap ones that I could take the handles off and here's the concept. You replace the handles with hickory, wait, and then you make a box using the same hickory that matches it perfectly. Wait, and then you take the rest of the hickory chunks and you cut them. Wait, wait, and you take the rest of the pieces and you chop them up and you can use them for smoking. Right? I know, I know, it's a good one. Wait, okay. So these are my four cleanest boards that I bought. These are all very rough sawn material. These are all cutoffs that I, I found at the Woodsmith store. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them down to about 20 inches a piece uh, so I can cut out all the, all the nonsense on here. And then I'm gonna trim them square and then I'm gonna take them all and I'm gonna rip them down in half so that I have enough boards to make the top and the bottom of the box. And then I'm probably gonna use this big long piece uh, for the runners along the sides for the rest of the box. Anything that's left over after that, I can use for the handles of the uh, grilling utensils, and everything after that, of course, is going to be the smoker material. So let's go over to the table saw and uh, mill for the next few hours. I decided to just go ahead and book match all of these, and I think these uh, sapwoods are going to be on the outside. So that's going to be my top panel, and this one here, I'm going to do the same thing. That's going to be. Uh, like that. I don't know, something like that. I'll probably do something like this for the bottom panel. The bottom panel won't matter quite as much because I'm going to be covering that with stuff, and you won't see it much for the bottom. So the top is going to be like this, the bottom is going to be like that. So here's basically what I did. So you can see the beads on each one. This one, there's no glue in between, so I should end up with two panels if I did everything right. It's always a trick to make sure you don't get any glue there. Okay, it has been a fortnight and this should be dry at this point. I took the clamps off already because I'm working on a different project, but that one's a secret, you can't see it. I'm working on two projects at the same time just because I want a video out every Friday if I can help it. And just the way the timing works out, one of these is going to take me a long time, so I started that early while this was gluing up. Now, it did work. I didn't get any glue on the middle of the two panels, so I ended up with two panels exactly like I was supposed to. switch out all of the handles for all of these into hickory and then we're also going to build a hickory box to hold all of these. These are all grilling tools just for the grill. So these fit just like this. I was not planning on killing anyone, no. So we're going to cut these down to size after we cut all the grooves out. Sound good? 
here, buddy. So the way this works, we're going to have, it's going to be 15 inches by 16 inches. That seems to be the best for fitting all these things in here. This knife is a little bit longer than I thought it was. So 15 one dimension, 16 the other. All right, so I'm going to have to glue this up and then I'll cut the panels to fit. What have you been working on? Windows. I like your windows, those are cool. This one almost blew away in the wind. <laughs> yeah, it'll blow away. What's it made of? Uh, foam. Very cool. I thought it looked like inside.
Okay, the box is all done being glued up. I only let it dry for about two hours, but it should be good enough to work with for now. Um, it turns out that the big panel sled that I used to cut out the top and bottom of the box was not as square as I thought it was. It fell over a while ago and it broke, and I screwed it back together, and apparently it's not square anymore. I should have checked that before I cut my panels. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding down, and I'm also going to start putting glue in these cracks intermittently uh, while I'm sanding to try and get as much sawdust in there as possible and try and seal up some of these seams as best I can. Okay, I'm about to put all the finishing touches on all of these, except for this thing is really ugly. I don't like it at all. I, uh, I don't know why I thought that was gonna end up looking a lot better. What I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off right here so it's a lot shorter because this head is really small. I'm also gonna try and thin this down and see if that works. If that doesn't work, I might just make a new one. Uh, look away if you're squeamish. Well, that was terrifying. I think this box turned out so cool. I love the way the top looks. I also love the fact that all of the handles are made out of the same material. Everything being made out of hickory is so cool. And I know for a fact my dad's gonna get some use out of these, uh, out of these extra blocks. Well, that didn't work at all. There we go. I think he's gonna love that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Catch y'all next time.